That means welcome back to Pretty Basic. <laughs> I think a lot of people often ask, why Ollie? Am I supposed to look at the camera or just you? Wherever you want, babe. I'll Whatever just look at you. you. Okay. Such a good view to look at. <laughs> we do this like weird thing. We shouldn't do it right now. Okay. <laughs> oh, my baby. Ramble. Pretty Basic. Thank you to Macy's, Orate, Athena Club, and Noom for sponsoring this week's episode of Pretty Basic. Halfway through December and still haven't figured out your presents? Lucky for you, Macy's has you and everyone on your gift list covered with their holiday gift finder. Snag amazing gifts at any price, even $15 and under. Check out all the gift ideas at macy's.com slash gift finder. Know who you're looking for, but stumped on what to get them? Macy's has a new feature called Gifts For, where you take a short quiz about who you're shopping for and you'll get tailored gift ideas for the proud pet parents, hosting MVPs, and the social influencers in your life, and so many more. Not me being one of all of those. <laughs> Soft cashmere sweaters, warm fleece, Sherpa everything, comfy slippers, and trending coats. Or treat yourself to a much-deserved cozy new robe, designer shoes and handbags, your fave skincare routine, and more. Again, that's Macy's.com slash gift finder. Hello, guys. Oh, I thought we were going to clap. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Pretty Basic. We are joined today by none other than my other best friend. Oh, what an intro. My other, other half, my other brain cell. Love. Mr. Ali Abbas. Hello, everyone. I'm so excited to be back. Hopefully back. not a 20 minute episode of this time. Oh my God, wait. Do we, I don't think I ever address that. <laughs> so Ali is mine and Alicia's best friend. And we are so excited because we've been waiting for this moment probably since this podcast started yes. to have you officially in studio yes here under the professional lights oh this is rich in the studio and you have been on the pod before you've mm -hmm. you've had one episode air mm -hmm. that was between you and I yeah when we sat in my sad dark office oh no on a it was late not night sad and dark. there were like a lot of pandemic parties happening in the neighborhood as well there was like yes. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, in the background uh but we we trucked on through trucked on through yeah we did we did. And we looked uh, the other way. We <laughs> continued recording. We did. We recorded this episode and I think it was probably an hour long, but Ollie it went- It was full of tea. Ollie went way too in so that when I edited it, it was actually a 20 minute episode that was allowed to air. Yeah. We also did another episode with Yumi and Alicia. Iconic. I love that one. Were we drunk? We were. We were drunk. And we, it was a good episode. You both did attack me the entire yeah. time. Uh, you you know, loved it. I did love it. And <laughs> unfor unfortunately, uh, Remy the deleted the footage. The microphone, <laughs> one of the microphones wasn't plugged in. So we lost, uh, you know, this is Remy audio. during it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are roasting me. Oh, so weird. Sorry. But now officially we are here, joined in the studio today. Before we get started, is it okay if I make a rather large announcement? Ooh, I would love. Amazing. I'm going to read off my phone so I don't fuck this up. Hashtag ad. Okay, guys. So the last time that Alicia and I did Pretty Basic Live shows, it was 2019. That sh Those four shows changed us as women. It was iconic. We are new women because of those shows. And we had such a good time in 2019 that we are bringing back more live shows. And we are starting with none other <gasps> than... Very close to my hometown, but we are going to Orange County. I specifically requested Orange County, mostly so my mom and dad can come and Iconic. my grandma, hopefully. And also specifically the Irvine Improv. I believe it's at the Irvine Spectrum. So, you know, <gasps> come ride the Ferris wheel, Iconic. go to the Hello Kitty Cafe, yes. get some. My uncle used to own this restaurant called Urban Soul. Go support over there, get some dinner and then come to the Pretty Basic Live Show at the Irvine Spectrum. All my Orange County girlies, I expect you to show up, show face. Let's hug <laughs> each other. It'll be fun. It's on March 13th. At 7 p.m., there's a GA option, there's a VIP option with a meet and greet as well. And I'm going to read you the show description because I think I'm supposed to do that. <laughs> Pretty Basic Live. Oh, let me put my good voice on. <clears throat> Pretty Basic Live is back and coming to Irvine, California. Join your favorite podcast hosts and digital creators, Alicia Marie and Remy Cruz, for a special version of their award-winning <laughs> award podcast, <laughs> Pretty Basic. The live experience will feature an inside look at what it's like recording at the PB studio. You're seeing it for yourself. Oh, so good. Crazy Romy and Loshi stories, and even a chance to meet the iconic duo. <laughs> I hate reading this about myself. I wrote it. Buy your tickets, truly. Buy your tickets before it's too late and get ready to create some... Content, baby, content. Oh, love it. This is a customer testimony. I went to like two out of the four and I loved it. You had a good time? I thought it was so fun. I had a really good time. Yeah. And I feel like we 
you know, you know what's funny? We talked about this, but you know. Yeah. We'll, and we'll get into this. If you know, you know. We are best friends. And I was really going through it. And Alicia was really going through it at that time. I think it was quite possibly some of the worst times of our lives. You guys really need a therapy. And yeah, truly. <laughs> and then we went up on stage like Oprah. And we're like, whoa, hi, everyone. <sighs> but this time I can say we are truly happy. Yes. And we are thriving. And it's going to be a really fun show. So I'm excited. And all my Orange County girlies or... If you live, if you want to fly in, feel free to fly in and let's have a good time. It's going to be lots of laughs, lots of fun. I'll be there in the front seat. You will. <laughs> you will be actually doing your little. No, literally. Your Mean Girls. Choreo. Yes. We taught him the Mean Girls mom choreo today. It was hard. Okay. <laughs> okay. So getting on with our episode, I'm so happy that you're here today and we can do a full professional, Ooh, professional podcast yeah. today. And we thought we would talk about. Obviously, we've been best friends for like, what, five years now? So long. Maybe longer. Maybe six. Um, probably. And it's not <laughs> even like, you're not even, we're best friends. And it's also like, we're family. Yeah. Like, you come to all my family Thanksgivings, Christmases. Yeah. My aunt literally told me she will not show up this year if you're not there. Oh, thank God. So, you know, you are one of the Cruz family now, but also you're like my other brain cell. Yeah. It's, we're not even, we're like brother and sister, but not even, we're like the same person. We're connected. We are connected. <laughs> and so I feel like, you know, the pretty basic audience is an extension of me. Right. You are an extension of me and they need to yes. know more about you and our friendship and our love for each other. We are one. We are one. <laughs> On the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. We, we are, are one. one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? How did we do that on the first take? No, I know. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Oh. oh, what does this mean? Our minds. <gasps> Our minds. Our minds. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, bef you know, let's let's kick it off because a okay. lot of people probably don't know who you are and yes. don't know about, you know, us. So, mm -hmm. you know, let's start off. Describe me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's describe Ollie. Yeah, Ollie give, me, give is, me a proper intro. Ollie is the most loyal, ride or die, funny, trend setting person person in the world oh i truly mean that and i think a lot of people often ask you know like why ollie why yeah. is why is he always around alicia and rami like how are you know who's who's this random person there literally do you get a lot of questions asking? oh my god so many well people I, are like i don't i wanted to be friends with remy and alicia and they didn't they wouldn't give me the time of day why is it him? <laughs> what's so special about Ollie? Let me tell you what's special about Ollie. <laughs> you are, I don't, it's hard to form into words, honestly, because I've never really thought about it. It's yeah. just you, you exude it was specialness. Effort, effortless. It really was. And I think we just kind of clicked right from the start, which we will talk about how we met and everything. But what I really appreciate you and what you are for Alicia and I, because obviously we are in this kind of, strange situation where we're like obviously very normal people but mm -hmm. then you have an online following and it's mm -hmm. like a weird weird mix and sometimes it's hard to keep up with and there are a lot of people often that you surround yourself with who are yes people and they'll mm -hmm. always tell you like yeah do this do that do that do that and you like kind of lose a sense of yourself which I know I've done before at least just done before but what we appreciate so much about you is that you always tell us no <laughs> 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 not in a bad way but you're always so real with us that's why you are legitimately my mom's favorite friend because my mom is I also keep it real baby who keeps it real and so and she can recognize that and moms always real know recognize real Suzanne exactly <laughs> <laughs> bring Suzanne have, on oh she would have too good of a time yeah but she like she sees that I see that obviously and I just appreciate how it you are genuinely the other half of my brain because I will call you I call Alicia when I've got a big problem and she helps me through my big problems and things but I will call you <laughs> if I forget to take a breath if I trip <laughs> on the stairs you know about it you get a paper cut anytime I need to confront someone you hear yeah. me rehearse it about 17,000 times yeah. and then I usually just don't confront the person but I, I got it out by talking yeah. to you I love that so I appreciate you so oh, I much I love you I love you. <laughs> Not me crying. I know, me too. <laughs> me too. Okay. Well, what is something about me that the audience might not know? Something peculiar. An something interesting peculiar? fact. Remy can sing really well. No, don't <laughs> say that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know you're <laughs> I would say like, I feel like 
people know that you're generous, but I don't think they understand like the level Aww. to how generous you are. So nice. I feel like you're so mindful of everyone. You're so selfless. You like literally open your home to anybody, <laughs> even strangers <laughs> in the street. <laughs> I did that to Pet Muff the other day. Yeah. We love Pet Muff, Pepperoni Muffin on TikTok. If you guys don't follow Kirsten Titus and we met her one time and I was like, come over to my house. Yeah. Come stay with me. And, and she did. She did. And after we left, I was like, mm, I don't think You're she's like, going to kill that was me. Weird. <laughs> but I do have a lock on my door. Yeah, yeah. And she took me up on it. Yeah. But it was a good time. Yeah. I think something interesting that people don't know about you, but they're learning about you. And Ollie yeah. has a YouTube channel, by the way. And he yeah. is doing Vlogmas. Thank you so much. Second year, killing we it. We love a plug. <laughs> it's, that's why you're here, baby. That's why you're here. But what I, I find so interesting and that people don't know just mm -hmm. from, you, I feel like you're starting to share more on YouTube, but you have such an eye creatively. Yeah. You're an amazing art. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I can't be humble about it. <laughs> it's true. You, first of all, you went to school. It's the only talent marketing. I have. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. It is. Take it back. That's true. Take it back. That's true. Ollie and I have a new thing where if he says something to me and I say, say you're sorry. I usually don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you so you went to school for marketing, obviously. Yes. You went to Fitum. Yeah. And you came from Florida. Oh, yeah. I swam out of there, baby. I, pa I paddled my way out of there. <laughs> you don't know how to swim, but you, you learned yeah, real quick. Yeah, I paddled. Quick. I was not going to be a Florida man. Doggy paddle from Florida. <laughs> and you went to school for marketing, and mm -hmm. you know so much. You've lived such a long life oh in God. your 27 Multiple years. Multiple lives. It's crazy. Yeah. You used to be a stylist. Yeah, mess. And he worked for tons of different whether it was like show yeah or editorial like styling yes yes, yes styling mm -hmm. things and then you, I did PR yes PR fashion week LA fashion week yes and now you're a social media what is your title again marketer social media divisional manager so oh, I manage love. the marketing department of the social media team incredible and like the thing is I feel like not enough people know how talented yes. you are so thank you so much. Now we've got more time to share with your audience, share with everybody share here. With the class. Maybe do you have any tips for anybody who's listening that maybe needs to amp up their social media presence a little bit? Mm, I would say like uh, this is such an obvious thing, but like TikTok is where all the trends are at. I know. So just like going on TikTok, seeing what the cool kids are doing, definitely looking at what other people are doing. Influencers are so good at seeing the trends before regular people. So like, I feel like following people you think are cool and kind of emulating that, but in your own specific way. Yeah. Like, for example, like you see someone take a pose you really like and you can do the same pose, but you're wearing a different outfit. There's a completely different background or whatever. And if you keep doing that, you kind of make your own style, if that makes sense. No, completely. Yeah. That was a very good tip. Wow. Yeah. I'm trying to think. That's oh. how people like become creative. You just copy other people until you find your own mix. <laughs> That's actually very true yeah. because we're not inventing exactly. anything. We're in not particular. reinventing the wheel. Yeah. Like even with my vlogs, like I looked at your vlogs. I was like, oh, this looks good. I'm going to try this. But then your vlogs have such a different twist on them exactly. though. Exactly. Oh, that's. Because it's uniquely me. I've never looked at it like yeah. that, but that's so true. Everything's unique, but it's all been done before. Very good tip. Everyone has a nightmare shaving story. Razor burns, dry skin, accidental cuts. Shaving can feel like such a hassle. If you guys have not tried Athena's Club Razor, seriously, it helps you with any sort of shaving issue that you might have. Athena's Club Razor is designed with built-in skin guards to help prevent razor burn while being gentle on curves. The razor blade is surrounded by a water-activated serum with shea butter and hyaluronic acid, which is a holy grail for skincare. If you guys know me, I love razors. I personally always have been a fan of shaving my body hair more than anything else. And I refuse to use any sort of razor that does not have some sort of shea butter or some sort of just like lubrication to help glide along my leg. So this is an absolute game changer. And if you have issues with shaving, do not worry and try this out. The best part is the razor kit is only $9 and comes with two blade heads, a magnetic hook for shower storage, your choice of a handle color, and the razor has six color options. So you know there's one for everybody. Plus, you'll never have to worry about running out of refills or being stuck with dull, overused razors. You can choose how often replacement blades are sent to you with free shipping. Also, you have to try their cloud shave foam. It's such a premium experience to nourish your skin while shaving. Show your skin you care with the Athena Club Razor Kit. Sign up today and you'll get 20% off your first order. Just go to athenaclub.com and use promo code BASIC. That's A-T-H-E-N-A-C-L-U-B.com with promo code BASIC for 20% off. Okay, one more quick mm -hmm. work question. So you obviously are working for a brand. Yeah. A lovely brand. Yeah. And 
from a brand perspective, I, mm -hmm. we have a lot of people that listen that want to become influencers and are, right. whether they're micro influencers or, you know, working to be one, whatever it may be, mm -hmm. how can they make themselves stand out to work with brands to have partnerships? Um, we definitely look at the quality of content. So mm -hmm. if we go on your Instagram, let's just say like you're reaching out to a beauty brand, which is like what I do. So like if I go on your page and you're not wearing any makeup in any posts, like I'm kind of like, well, where is this going? Oh, I see. Yeah, so, you're not going to want to work with someone exactly. if they're not wearing makeup. Totally. Exactly. And I, brands also like to see that you've worked with other brands, even if they're small brands or like even like small businesses. Like it's good to have like, oh, like I did this or even just like organically just making content, like stuff you're buying already at Target and stuff and just tagging brands. Like usually brand people will see that and be like, oh, like maybe they're working with that person or, you know, like as long as you're creating good content, like usually like your following or likes don't really matter to most brands as long oh, as the content's pretty good. Interesting. But for like paid partnerships, then obviously they care about followers and likes and numbers. Got it. And so then to someone who's very, very new, who's never worked with a brand, mm -hmm. how do they reach out? Would you suggest going on the, like those, there's those portals where you can apply yeah. yourself. Would that be the best? Um, I wouldn't recommend a portal. I think just like getting on the brand's radar. So like mm. buying their product and using it and consistently tagging them in like static posts, stories, and just reaching out after like a month or two. Oh, very smart. Yeah. And also you obviously want to work with brands that you organically use. Exactly. That is the whole point of influencer marketing yeah. is things that you actually genuinely use. So mm -hmm. try it out. If you do like it, then tag. Also, Ollie told me this crazy thing. <laughs> we can cut this yeah, say, yeah, but there is a portal that brands use where yeah. they're able to track how many times you not only put like their products or or their company in the description box when you just verbally say yeah. the product in your YouTube video brands or everything. whatever <laughs> there's like a, a literal portal that will count if I was talking about summer Fridays in my yeah. blog but I didn't tag them I just said oh, I'm using the summer Fridays yeah. mask it will show up for them that's how they determine who is a good partner so let's just say like someone doesn't really mention, let's just say summer Fridays, like in the month of February, March, but then there's another creator that mentioned them January, February, March, April, May, and then they're, they would probably partner with someone who's mentioning them throughout the year oh. versus just once when they're doing something paid. Well, that makes total sense. Mm -hmm. I also went out to dinner with some other YouTubers the other night and they said that they had met someone who was a fan of mine, but yeah. only became a fan of mine because they work for a company and their job at the company was to watch my videos and count Iconic. how many times I spoke about this brand. Whoa. But like, I was like, Oh yeah. my God, now I'm stressed. Or should I be like, hi, blank. And I'm, 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 hi guys, good morning, blank. Anyways, the, I'm doing it in blank. Yeah. Not really, but I thought that was so crazy that that's someone's job. Yeah. Like some brands, like all the jobs, like you'd be surprised how many jobs can be created for like a brand or social media or marketing. Like oh, there's yeah. so many, like it can like break into like micro little categories like someone who just answers dms or replies to comments like you can really break it down i believe that because yeah. also as time is going on and social media is evolving new jobs are being formed exactly. every day to carry out especially with brands growing such big followings exactly. too and okay. even people entrepreneurship I look at you oh. business woman multi Revenue streams. <laughs> streams. Streams of multiple revenue. Well, thank you so much. That was actually really great. And I yeah. loved that tangent that we got on. Okay, back to our questions. Money. <laughs> Money. Money. Oh my God. Okay, sorry. Um, Oliver. Oh God, not the full name. <laughs> it's not really his name, but I like calling him that <laughs> when he's in trouble. I'm in trouble. No. How did we meet? <laughs> oh, I can remember it like it was yesterday. This is a little talent no. show that we put on at every one of my family's functions <laughs> where Ollie likes to act out how I was the night we met. And I like to say I would never be like that. No, she was exactly like this. If you know, you know. You know how influencers lie. Oh, don't say <laughs> that. But Ollie and I met through a mutual friend actually five or six years ago or so yeah and you were really close to this person no on... we never met through her because remember she said she didn't want us to meet because she knew we would be best friends but like technically we met through her because i watched you knew you. of me because i was in her videos yes, and then you knew of me yeah. because i was in her video yeah but we eventually met one night at a party one fateful night, one fateful night the <laughs> night that actually like pivoted my whole life yeah and it was uh at an airbnb that party party that a going a, a farewell party yes brooke yes. michio and kevin droniak icons shout out we're living here for the summer in like what was this 2016 yeah. and or i so? wasn't that close to them either so it was i was surprised I was invited. 
I honestly as well. I actually almost, I think I almost didn't go. And I was like, I'll just go. I'll stop by. That one faithful (laughs) night. And I walk into the party (laughs) and I, would you like to take it away? Yes, yes. Let's give it from all of You're not, you're not giving the juice. I know, (laughs) I know. Okay, so I was sitting with my friend at the time who's going through a breakup. And she was making me make her new Tinder profile. So I was just sitting on the couch. I was like, and then there was just like, like breeze of air in the room. Everyone just turned and looked. There was a single glowing aura of this beautiful, like giant hair piece (laughs) that I noticed first. It was just so large and lavish. I've never seen hair like this. It before. was a ponytail with two legs attached. It was just l- golden spun. It was very large. It was larger than life. I've never seen hair like this before. I used to have like 20 pounds of hair extensions yeah. in my head. So yes, I agree. And then she's just walking straight, but I noticed she had this very large Louis Vuitton bag a never fold is that what it's called no it was a sac de jour ysl bag you always get it wrong. i thought it was a louis vuitton bag. okay that's i okay. just knew it was rich <laughs> it was it was screaming wealth and luxury okay so this large bag she's just having it tucked under her arm because she's scared someone's gonna snatch it off i know her i know this woman <laughs> that is not true and as she's going around she's looking like so disgusted she's like uh, like literally <laughs> looking for the door. This is not true. <laughs> this is so true. At all. I hope you and know. And then as she's literally darting out the door, she freezes in her tracks. She sees me sitting there and I'm just staring at her like, wow, this glorious woman. I want to be her friend. She goes, Ollie? <laughs> and then I'm like, wait, is this the girl who has the crazy neighbor in my head? <laughs> and then she goes, oh my God. I love you so much. I've seen you in the videos. We should be friends. <laughs> and then she grabs my phone. She puts her number in and she says, let's get lunch. Fabulous. She puts on her sunglasses, <laughs> stuffs her bag. And she said, I'm leaving. As she looks disgustingly around the Airbnb. It's, it, it was not a nice Airbnb. No offense, Brooklyn, Kevin. <laughs> she darts out of there. Might I add the two times in our yeah. friendship, Ollie and I have fought one. I can't name. The second one. What do you can't name? Do you want me to say it? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> the other one, I called Ollie and said, you over-exaggerate your stories too much. Oh, no. <laughs> and at every family function, Ollie likes to act out how we met. Yeah. When from my point of view, I walked into this party. I had just eaten at the Mexican restaurant yeah. at LA Live. I had accidentally stolen the fork and I remember accidentally I, it was a nice fork <laughs> and I was like I'm gonna save this for later and what is it you're coming home with me yeah and I um good I remember soup. there was some food at the party and I was like oh good I have my own fork I brought yeah. my own fork out of I was course, eating some food Miss Remy would bring her own fork and she doesn't then, trust Airbnb utensils that is not true I said hello <laughs> to you and I said we should we should hang out sometime yeah I'm a big fan and then I left yeah now you think a big fan of me when I had absolutely no channel <laughs> <laughs> but now you do. And I've been telling you for six years. I know. That was the here. first first time we hung out. You said I should make a YouTube channel. The first time we ever hung out after this party was like maybe yeah. a week later. Boiling crab. We went to the Boiling Crab in Koreatown. And I remember standing there being like, oh my God. I was so nervous. I was so nervous too. Yeah. I was like, I I think you, well, you were one of my first L, like real LA friends. Yeah. Because we both You lived in here. Marina, right? Yes. And we like, or I think I, yes, I did. And mm-hmm. then I moved to downtown very shortly after. Because of me. And we were neighbors. But- you and I both moved from, I mean, you came from Florida, obviously, and you were here Paddled. for school yeah. <laughs> from Florida. And I came from my hometown and mm. I didn't really know that many people at all. I knew like a few very vague, like acquaintance is, but I didn't really have any like good, good, good friends yet. Mm-hmm. So when I first met you, it was great because we were able to just click on that. And I feel like we were able to, we had so many things in common. We love food. Yeah. So we went to the boiling crab and we I remember- weren't afraid to eat. I feel like that's what bonded us yeah. a lot in the beginning because a lot of our friends were like, like <laughs> very diet, very green juice. Yeah. We were like, let's go to boiling crab. You like yes. boiling crab, sushi, cream barbecue. And then you were like, none of my friends like Asian food. And, and that's, that's how right. we bonded too. I was like, I love Asian food. And then we get to eat, like food really does bring people together. Yeah. And we got our hands all dirty and the shrimp and cracking mm. everything open. And we just became, it was the ch- messiest date to go to. We were so sloppy. We were trying to impress each yeah. other. We're like, this is fine. But I remember standing outside by yeah. the gate and being like, 
oh my God, I'm so nervous. Like, I hope I impress yeah. him. I've never talked to him before like yeah. this. Like, this is crazy. And this is like two hours long. And because there was a long line. I remember yeah. being like, oh, this is a long time. We talked about planners. Do you remember yeah, talking about did. planners? The Aaron Condred. <laughs> Yes, yes. Yeah, I remember everything. I have a weird memory. He has the memory of an elephant, and yeah. I have the worst. I remember memory. every detail. I probably remember what you wore. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, but that—that that is the uh, originate <laughs> origin. Origin. <laughs> Originate. I'm so tired. That is the origin of our friendship, and I'm so so truly happy that we met that I night. I know it changed the tra- trajectory of our life. It's so true. Yeah. So so true. All right, guys, if you listen to Pretty Basic, you know that here we love Orate. As I'm getting older, I'm becoming more of a jewelry girl in my life. And when I wear jewelry, I want to wear nice quality jewelry, but I don't want to break the bank while doing so. So Orate is amazing because it's a fine jewelry brand that is founded by women for women. And pieces range from classic to statement to completely original. Orate makes the jewelry you've always wanted but could never find. I have personally learned that I have very sensitive skin. This is news to me. And cheap jewelry will turn my fingers green or my ears get really irritated and it's just not a fun time. So when I wear jewelry, I need it to be of quality. So Orate is amazing because their gold feels substantial and the diamonds sparkle and shine. And it's also super high quality and so, so beautiful. But again, it won't break the bank. What's great is it's all real gold, so you can wear it and never have to take it off. Showering, working out, sleeping, cooking, it's jewelry made for life. And best of all, what I love so much is that their jewelry is ethically sourced and sustainably made. Their gold is never mined, and their gemstones and diamonds are also certified conflict-free. We love to hear. Also, what's amazing is they actually have Klarna, so you can shop now and pay over time. Just a more flexible way to get what you want from Orate. For 20% off your first Orate purchase, go to oratenewyork.com slash basic and use promo code basic. That's 20% off with no minimum spend, and they rarely have discounts as high as 20% off. So I really encourage you to shop now while it's going on. This is the best offer out there, and it's exclusively for you guys. A-U-R-A-T-E, newyork.com slash basic, and use promo code basic to get 20% off. So... On Pretty Basic, we talk a lot about friendships, obviously with Alicia being my BFF and your BFF. We talk about friendships so much and friendship breakups, how to look for a good friend, uh, qualities in a good friend, et cetera, all those Mm -hmm. sorts of things. So people are always asking us to talk about that stuff. Mm -hmm. So I figured today would be great. And I wanted to talk about how in general, do you know when someone is a good friend? And then maybe if we have like certain stories that we could talk about Mm -hmm. specifically where like you realized I was a good friend or vice versa so that we can share with the class. Ooh, I love that. Okay, so let's start with traits of a good friend or qualities or things that just impress you or, you know, things that you've learned throughout your life in a friendship that just help make it last. Yeah. Or just make a good friend for a season because sometimes friends are just for a season. I think communication is key. Like to me, like if I know there's like you have those friendships where you don't have to talk like every day. Yeah. But to me, like a best friend, like you have to talk pretty often. And if you don't hang out, like, are y'all really best friends? I don't know. Really? That's how I personally feel. Okay. Like I have, you know, I have friends from back home who I talk to like, you know, once a freaking year, but Mm -hmm. we're still best friends. But at a time in my life, we talked every day. Like, Uh. I feel like they have to like work. Like we have to have a season where we talk all the time to establish that level of friendship. Okay. So we can go without talking for a while and I still consider you a best friend. Does that make sense? No, that makes complete sense yeah. because- I really have to know you. Well, yeah, because yeah. like Steph and I obviously used exactly. to talk every millisecond of every day. Exactly. And now she moved away She's and earned babies. her title. Exactly. Yeah. And same with Kaylee too. Yeah. I completely get that. Yeah. I think also, like, I mean, communication is huge. Yeah. I think also being able to voice- Yep. You can, you yourself can voice when you have a problem with the friend Mm -hmm. and the friend responds very well. And you like, you have this knowledge and this like gut feeling that, you know, you can go to them with literally anything anything that's bothering you about the friendship or if something, you know, maybe they said something that just doesn't sit right or whatever it may be. You have the trust that you can go to them and just know automatically like, oh, they're always going to be responsive to this. They're always going to be sweet about it and want to better the friendship no matter what it may be because they care about the friendship Mm -hmm. I've had friendships before where I've been so scared and tight-lipped to say anything that was bothering me or anything that hurt my feelings because I knew I was already walking on eggshells yeah and it would just crumble and it'd be a big problem and all those sorts of things I feel like with us too yeah we've been really good at being able to just and it's taken a long time because we've had to build that foundation. But now, you know, if you have something that's bothering you, I have something that's bothering me. It's it's so minute also. It's just like a, hey, by the way, 
maybe none of this or hey da, da, no. da, and it's you like oh my god me. thank you it's, <laughs> but like and you're like oh my god i'm so sorry like yeah. i didn't i would i'm so sorry i'll never do that again mm-hmm. and it's just like having that open com- communication but knowing yeah more so that you can have that communication and mm-hmm. you shouldn't be scared and if you are scared then that is a red flag for a friend yeah i completely agree Another trait, another great trait in a friend is someone who is a good listener. Yes. And you can tell when someone is not listening to you and not caring about, huh? <laughs> about your problems yeah. or anything that's going on with you. Someone who genuinely cares. I think yeah. also someone who reaches out, not just for, you a know. favor. Oh my God. That's say, huge in LA. Yeah, exactly. You know? Someone who genuinely cares about you and checks in in between. Ask about your dogs. Asking about those favors. Exactly. Asking about your life, your family, yeah. whatever it may be. Just genuinely caring about that person. Your garden. And you can tell. My garden. Yeah. Have my carrots spotted. How's the lettuce? They haven't asked about my carrots. Yeah, no one's asking about your lettuce. My peas are growing pretty well and no <laughs> one's asking me about them. What about the cilantro? And I just remembered I didn't water my garden today. Remind Ooh. me when we get home. <laughs> Anyways, anything else? Any other qualities in friends? I think um, having a similar sense of humor, mm. like someone who really understands you. Because I feel like when you're friends with people who don't get you, that's an issue. Yeah. And oh, like absolutely. that's when like, you know, like you fall into these friendship with people that you don't necessarily want to be friends with, who don't get you. And, you know, like then you're acting fake around them and you're a different person. Oh, I it's so worse. That. It's like you're scared to embarrass yourself. Because you're like, oh, they're going to think I'm weird. And then you get stuck. It's like a very high school mentality. Oh, what I hate too is I've fallen into this multiple times in my Mm -hmm. life where I fall into crowds of girls that are not very nice. Exactly. And being around those people with just negative energy and talking badly about people all the time Mm. makes me to fit in. I feel like I need to fit in and I want to keep a group of friends. I want to have a group of friends. For so long in my life, I never had a best friend. Right. And I always was the odd one out. Mm -hmm. And I... I would do anything to keep those friends. So I would mold myself to be whatever they needed or whoever they were to seem cool or to seem like I had friends because you're supposed to have, you're supposed to have friends. That's what I always thought. And then I would always feel like a mean person because that's not who I am. I'd be saying things that I didn't mean. I'd be feeling things that I didn't want to feel and just, you know, like negative energy all the time. So I think if you are feeling that way, which I think, I think everybody goes through at some point in their lives. Everyone goes through that phase. Like it took us a while to find like a solid group of friends that we actually really care for. And with no drama. No drama. How is there no drama in my life anymore? It's crazy. It's crazy. But we all had to go through that to get to where we are and to learn what we want in friends. People think we just snapped our fingers and have these friendships it's like we worked hard. We dropped people. We had a snip. We put in <laughs> the work. We did. But I feel like if you are listening to this and you are in that same situation, know that it is so much better to it be gets, who you are. It gets, <laughs> it gets much better. And not stressed about trying to, like the amount of stress. Yeah. Like I'm talking about it. I'm feeling it yeah. creep up right now. The amount of stress that you feel when you're not fitting in and you're forcing mm-hmm. yourself to fit in with people is not worth having that group of friends. It's better to have no friends. Be by yourself. No, truly. Like you can be so much happier by yourself. Exactly. And find people that actually, you actually mesh with. Sense of humor. People that communicate Mm -hmm. with you. People that you feel like you can communicate with. Yeah. Then being with these fake people that make you feel so bad about yourself. You also need to be a friend to yourself before you can be friends to others. Very true. Priorities. Mm -hmm. That is so, so true. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, Whitney. <laughs> oh, she's like it hit we're doing well <laughs> so these are all traits to me of a really good friend okay but i think something that makes a best friend or a ride or die mm-hmm. and i've actually never had anyone do this for me like you did personally yeah. and when you did this for me years ago i remember being like oh my god <laughs> like i've never had any i'm gonna cry thinking about it i've oh. never had anyone do that for me and it was when i remember you talked to me about someone that was in my life who I've had for a very, very long time. And it just, we were walking on eggshells with each other all the time. And it was just not a good friendship, but I feel like we were holding on for so long because we had such history together. Mm -hmm. And um, I wasn't happy, but I felt like, I felt this pressure to keep people in my life from before YouTube fame. Right. Because I thought that it grounded me. I thought that it showed that I hadn't quote unquote changed. Mm -hmm. And I was, these people were always telling me like, you're so different. You're so like this now and Mm -hmm. and all these bad things. When she wasn't. But Uh I'm not, Uh the thing is I know in my gut now and like, I don't think I knew myself enough to stand up for myself back then. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, 
So for me, it meant a lot when you came to me and we mm-hmm. were new friends, but still new. we were really new. We were new good yeah. friends, yeah. though. And we were like we just passed that yeah. little like bump of being yeah, like, where we would new. hang out all the time. Yes, we were getting yeah. very close very quickly. Yeah, and I remember you sat me down and you let me know like, hey. I love you so much. And I'm oh, it very, was a full sit down, baby. I'm very well it was an aware. intervention. It was, it was an intervention. Yeah. And you were like, I'm very well aware that me saying this to you could trigger you to not want to be my friend anymore because yeah. I don't want to overstep. Um, I don't want to cause any more drama in your life, but I'm sitting here watching you be so upset and get hurt over and over and over again and get mistreated. And so I'm telling you that you need to cut this person out. You need to be done. And if you don't want to be my friend anymore because I said this to you and it's too much for you to hear, then I understand. But I'm willing to risk our friendship. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I want to cry because. um, (laughs) Oh, my baby. I've never Cheeto puffed on pretty basic. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't bring lash glue. I didn't bring lash glue. You're too far away for me to comfort you. Oh. Thank you, Wit. (laughs) My baby. Thank you. The trauma is real. It's I'm pretty real. basic. Oh, you're me when people cry. I'm like, <laughs> I I just don't know how to comfort. No, me too. It just meant so much to me. And to me, after that, I was like, no one's ever done that for me, and so it meant the world to I me. I would do anything for you. And me, you. <laughs> oh, my makeup's gonna look so bad. I didn't bring my <laughs> so touch up bad. kit. I gotta go to Sephora. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And we need to move on. I can't cry anymore. <laughs> I can't believe I Cheeto puffed on Pretty Basic. I brought the waterworks. Baby. I love it. <laughs> oh my God. I swear to God, I'm going to have one I, last I can up. feel mine coming, but I'm holding uh, it back. Shall we move on? <laughs> How do we move on How from do we that? Move on from that? So I Sacrifices. Think, um, I think like. The ultimate sacrifice. The ultimate sacrifice. I could have never had Romy in my life again. But the fact that you were willing to. I mean, we were still so new, obviously. But the the, the fact that you were willing to risk. The possibility of like what we are yeah. now because you were looking out for me. I just couldn't be fake. Like I was just watching you get attacked by this person and they were kind of like a undercover hater. Mm-hmm. So I was like, uh, I can't. I was like, I'd rather lose this friendship than not be honest and be an honest person. And I appreciate that so much. And there were so many things going on behind the scenes that you were seeing from your perspective mm-hmm. that I didn't even know. Yeah. So the fact that you were willing and able to step up and tell me these things because i'm sure that wasn't an easy easy conversation it meant the world to me and i think to me that's why i mean i obviously told my mom and my mom was like fuck her and also like i love ollie yeah because that was like the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me so thank you Uh, i cry i cry okay let's move on to nice stuff if you guys listened to last week's episode of pretty basic you know that i have been going through it emotionally and mentally and just dealing with a lot of stuff behind the scenes and i'm sure a lot of you guys actually i know a lot of you guys can relate to it because i got so many amazing messages from you guys reaching out and just asking you know how i've been which means the absolute world to me so thank you and i hope that you guys are doing well too it's so funny because sometimes even just thinking about how to tackle your stress is more stressful. My mom does it. I do it. We all do it. If you guys have not heard of New Mood, check it out because it's basically, it just kind of helps you start your journey to mental wellness one step at a time. It doesn't feel like it's this big, you know, mountain that you need to climb. It just kind of helps you go slowly and at whatever pace you need to. And it is incredible. For me personally, I get overwhelmed very easily. Alicia does too. Pretty much everyone in my life does. So it's really nice because it kind of helps you put those mental kind of notes in place and kind of remind you before you're able to get overwhelmed. How do I tackle this? How do I move forward without letting that overtake you? Also, what's great is that New Mood recognizes that not everybody is the same and not one size fits all. So you can take the program at your own pace. You can go as quickly as you need, as slowly as you need. And what's amazing, again, is that you have the support of a coach. So you always feel like you have that support system that you can lean back on. Worry less and feel happier. Sign up for your trial at Noom.com slash pretty basic. That's N-O-O-M dot com slash pretty basic to sign up for your trial. (sighs) <sighs> okay, let's tell some fun stories because I need a good laugh. I didn't realize I was going to oh, cry I can today. Make you laugh, baby. <laughs> okay, some fun stories that I wrote down yeah. that we can share. Okay. First up, a really fun one. Okay. Me losing my virginity. That's not a fun story <laughs> I know, for me. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> this was the first. That's my trauma origin story. First, your villain origin <laughs> story. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first and only time I've ever lied to Ollie. Worst day of my fucking life. <laughs> Ollie and I went out for, for I was like, mm. 
like, no, it, you took me out on a Valentine's Day. You were wine and dining me. I did. We you gave me a Dyson Jurassic. hair dryer. <gasps> Didn't you love it? The mo- the nicest date I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> we went to dinner with Beauty and Essex. We had a beautiful yeah. night. And then I got a Oh, text. we had a beautiful night. Remember, we went to Lesbian Night and we oh, and we were so confused. We did. Yeah. We did. And we bought some flowers. Yeah. We had a lovely time. And then I got a... Oh, I can't believe I lost it on a you up text. I got a you up text. And I was like, I saw it too. <laughs> I tried to hide it she from was, Molly. She was so drunk in the car. She just had her phone like this. And the full brightness. She's like texting <laughs> like this. I'm next to her. I'm like reading these texts. It says douche guy. And I was like, oh, he was such a fuck boy. I have to go home. <laughs> I was like, you don't have to lie. I was like, I know where you're going. I love that you clogged it. And you were yeah. like, don't lie to me. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, I get home. I was like, go tomorrow. Go the next day. Just not on Valentine's Day. Technically, I probably got there after midnight. <laughs> she so was like, was oh my God, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm, I'm so going to go to bed. I'm so going to bed. Literally the second, like uh, her foot stepped outside the Uber and she turned off her location. No, I remember I turned it off and I'm upstairs changing I, I into called like her. something casual and cute. Something, so, oh my God. You, you literally me. doing your makeup, yes. adding in more hair extensions, putting a robe on. And Ollie called me and he goes, you know, Rem, you can be honest with me. Yeah, you, you can tell like me. Just like I was. If you want. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, if you want you like, I will never judge yeah. you. I will always, always, always be there for you. I was you. like, you will regret this, babe. <laughs> I was like, it's fine, babe. Yeah. Love you, bye. Boom. And my Uber. I can't. I can't. <sighs> we like to reference that story a lot. Horrific. Because it was the worst mistake I've ever made in my life. Not, yeah. not the losing part. Yeah. Lying to you. <sighs> and I'm very sorry about that. <sighs> well, we're still working through it <laughs> with a therapist. <laughs> yes, a couple of therapy. <laughs> Another story I'd like to share. Yeah. Uh, we. We. Our minds. Our minds. Are connected. Oh, we're very mm, powerful. Via the tectonic plates. The year is 2019. Yes. Pre-COVID. Pre-COVID. We're celebrating Ollie's birthday yeah. on, there's a rooftop bar here in LA called, what is it EPLP. called? EPLP. EPLP. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's in West Hollywood. It's gorgeous. So beautiful. It's like the most beautiful Gagatandra. sunset. Gagatandra for days. <laughs> there's like beautiful <sighs> string lights around. Yeah. A full, beautiful, exposed bar yeah. with like on the so shelf. So many top shelf bottles. Top shelf, like line expensive. after line after Thousands. line after line. So expensive. And I'm meeting up with Ollie there. We're waiting for a couple other people to join. And Ollie and I get there first. And we're yeah. so excited. We're like, ah! and we run up to You're each like, other. Yay, 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 yay. Yeah. We hold hands, make eye contact. We do this like weird thing. We shouldn't do it right now. Okay, maybe I not. We're a little not. too powerful. I think we're witches. No, I should you not. We touch palms. <laughs> An earthquake erupts. No, 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 no. You're not telling the story Oh, right. that's what I remember. No, 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 no. We held hands and then we did this weird thing where we would just stare at each other and we would like <laughs> manifest. Oh. Like remember like, okay, so me and Remy do this weird thing where we hold hands, we lock eyes and then we try to manifest. But it's like, um, I don't know. It's They're too powerful. They're so lucky we can't touch it's right now. It's too powerful. <laughs> it, it's literally our secret witch power. Just and FYI. Truly. And an earthquake. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yes. So... We do it. We hold hands. We say, what if the big one just happened oh, right now? Did we say that? We did. <sighs> and then the ground starts shaking and we're still locked in linked hands. I remember our eyes were bulging. And we looked and we're around. Everyone's screaming and running. We're like, there's no <laughs> effing way. <laughs> the bottle, the yes. top shelf, $200, $300, $400. Every single person <laughs> is running and screaming. <laughs> and guess what me and Remy did? Just guess. We stood there. There. Like absolute Waiting dumb for asses. Did we not practice? We didn't earthquake? move. Did you have earthquake safety of in Florida? Of course. You did. No, I not in say, Florida, but does, I've had it. Does Florida have earthquakes? No, we had it at Fitham though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like earthquake safety. Growing up, Orange County show people don't forget, Irvine Spectrum, <laughs> we uh, would practice earthquake safety and you'd have to like crawl into your desk. Now- yeah. Like I practice that for every year of my life. Now when yeah. an earthquake happens, I just stand and stare. We at were my ready house. for that. I stand my one time in um, my downtown building. I lived in a high rise, mm-hmm. and those are built on rollers depending on what building you're in. So technically, when the earthquake hits, it's quote unquote safer, but right. it sure as hell doesn't feel safer because that right. thing is womp 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 on these rollers. Mm-hmm. A big one hit. I think it was like a five point something oh, that magnitude. One was scary. It was big. It was the Fourth yeah. of July. 
on the fourth of July. On the fourth of July, Makes close to my birthday. Dog, real bad. Yes. Weird, right? That's this is the date. Wait. Did two earthquakes happen yes. back to back? <gasps> so we must have felt the aftershock when we held hands. So the 4th of July yeah. one that happened, I was just running up and down my hallway screaming yeah. as the the building was going. Oh, long, yeah. That's long, why we were long. joking. What if the big one happened? That's oh. why. Because earthquake was the night before. Because your birthday yeah. is the day after 4th of July. It's all clicking. So then we had <laughs> we had our your dinner yeah. after we, again, manifested an earthquake yeah. aftershock, apparently. Also, you got me so drunk that night. Remember when I spilled water you all did. over the table? You got very drunk. Yeah, I was, As you should on your I birthday. Unwell. And then I had just started dating this new boy very, very recently. Calvin. His name is Cal Robert Parsons. Yeah. And you might know him from the blogs. You might know him. Yeah. A couple, uh, the couple of our friends that we went with went home and it was just you and I. And I yeah. said, you want to come meet this new guy I'm seeing? I loved it. Which I think I'd only been seeing him for two weeks, I want to yeah, say. But I've I heard a lot about him. <laughs> and then, <laughs> why? <laughs> why? So then I was like, oh, I think. We thought he was just going to be a hookup. Somehow he was in my apartment though. He was waiting for the hookup. Was he in my apartment <laughs> or were we in my apartment? He came to your apartment. You brought me back home to your apartment and he was meeting you up there. Yes. Okay. So you and I walk in and then I go grab Cal and this is Ollie and Cal's first time meeting yeah. on Ollie's birthday. Ollie's drunk. I was really drunk. And Cal comes in and how did you introduce yourself to Cal? I don't remember. I think I said, hi, I'm Ollie, but I refused to make eye contact because he was so tall. Like, you know, when you're drunk and like the room's mm -hmm. just moving, <laughs> I, I was like, I can't lift my head up. <laughs> but then I was I was really shocked at how tall he was because I thought you were just like, oh, oh my God, he's 6'3". I'm like, okay, he's 5'11". <laughs> but like, he was tall. He's tall. Yeah. And you introduced yourself to him as what? So eventually uh, we were just hanging out in Remy's glam room. <laughs> so Remy was getting ready, whatever. And then he was just sitting there. And then he was like, oh, like, so what do you do? Like, blah, blah. So then I go... I'm part of Remy's glam team. And, and of course, he has no idea what glam team or <laughs> glam means. Like what that could mean anything. Yeah. And I didn't think about that in the moment. I was like, I should have maybe specified. He's a straight dude. He's yeah. Fine. He's fine. I was like, oh, like I'm part of Remy's glam team. He's like, oh, nice. <laughs> nice. That's so cool. Now what's so funny though is we, we like didn't know him well enough yeah. to like. I, I just lied because I wanted to. I love, as you should. Yeah. But I was it, like, oh, he's a hookup. Normally we like, we used to, <laughs> <laughs> normally we used to just like, like he's the say hookup things. That stayed. We would say things and like not think anything of it. But yeah. now we like to say things just to like poke him. Yeah. And then we, we troll him But now so we troll. Much. But now you would say, oh, like I'm part of his glam, her glam team. And he'd yeah. say, oh, cool. And you'd be like, what do you think glam team is? Yeah. What is glam? Yeah. What, what is does glam? glam mean to you? Yeah, we would do that to him. As now. a white cis he, hetero man. He loves us though. Yeah. He really does. We interrogate. He <laughs> We attack. We did attack you, him so I much. Did I tell you what he said the other day about meeting? He met a couple of our other friends mm -hmm. who are pretty much carbon copies of you and I. Yeah. Another best friend duo who are pretty much us yeah. in other human form. Relatively speaking. And I said, Cal, <laughs> how did you, how, did you like them? And he went, mm, yeah, they were really nice. Yeah. And I said, yeah, aren't they so fun? He goes, yeah, but they're pretty much exactly like Ollie. And I only need one Ollie. In my life. <laughs> and I'm happy with the one Ollie I have. I love that. <laughs> All right. So we went on to the pretty basic Instagram. I love yes. a good Q and A. And we have some questions here yes. to ask us and if you guys want to ask some questions in the next one be sure to follow us on the pretty basic instagram Period. pretty basic official okay first access all right first one what is something you are proud of the other for growing and maturing with or in oh uh, oh my god this is so cute that's so sweet i think for you speaking up for yourself you would never speak up for yourself you would literally like get traumatized bullied stepped on stomped on spit on stabbed Dropped, elbowed kicked, kicked. <laughs> like beaten <laughs> starved kicked out and you would still trek on <laughs> <laughs> trek that was this, the this is a survivor <laughs> honey she's been through it all well thank you i would say and she doesn't say anything anyone else would go film a video about it <laughs> gets a bad sense out of it <laughs> I really could. I should have, honestly. She was silenced. <laughs> Are you silenced or silenced? Literally. Not my lash coming off. Yeah. Oh my God, help. And I feel like also just like stepping into your Asian heritage. Oh my God, thank you. And like you. speaking out about like AAPI and stuff like that. I really appreciate yeah. that. Thank you so much. That's so cool that you noticed that actually. I noticed everything. He does notice you. everything. It's true. <laughs> I would say 
I think knowing your worth. Right. Because I think when we were just becoming friends in the beginning, you were putting up with a lot of people Mm -hmm. and I think you're, because you're a people pleaser, right. you would, and like, there, of course you want to be friends with so many people and be in different friend groups, yeah. but I think you really found your sense of self and your self-worth and you mm-hmm. know how great you are. Yeah. I think you've also always known how great you are, but you're not afraid yeah. to like speak it out now, yeah. which, which is true. And like people should know, yeah. and you are such a trendsetter and yeah. you know it. And I feel like you're so, yeah, so many people copy me. I know. I, and I know <laughs> like, that. And I, I know that's your it. pet peeve. I I know, but it. I love that you yeah. speak out about it. Yeah. And I feel like you really have figured, like found your self worth. Yeah. And I think that you found, you've surrounded yourself with a group of people who respect you yeah. and also realize that. Yeah. And we all are fucking obsessed yeah. with you, obviously. So I'm happy that you are yeah. getting what you deserve. Yeah. I think the gag is, is like, I didn't have any like social medias for so long. Yeah. So people would just like take, Take whatever I was saying, what I was doing, what I was thinking, yeah. and just put it on their social media. I'm like, damn, I I would never say anything about it because I'm like, yeah, whatever. Ninety nine percent of what I say is straight from your mouth. <laughs> and I, re- but the, we're best friends. But what's funny, you rub off on each other. The first time you say something, I'm like, that was dumb. And yeah. then a week later, I'm like, Gagatandra. No, that's everybody. <laughs> I, I like say it before it's cool. And then literally a month later, every YouTuber on earth is saying the stuff I was saying for like months. And I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, it, y'all were looking at me weird. It is true. It is true. You heard it <laughs> Like these first. shoes. I remember everyone thought these were weird. And then Emma Chamberlain wore them and made them cool. Ugh. Emma should cut you a check. No. No. We love you, <laughs> I Emma. love Emma. We love Emma's you. Emma's my favorite creator. Oh, I'm obsessed She's definitely with her. probably not listening, but I love you. Emma, we love you so much. <laughs> she watches my stories pretty often. Okay. And I That's spiral. Iconic. No, I spiral every time. No, I have to double like, check every story you post of me. That wasn't, a, no, I'm like, that wasn't a good enough story of Daisy. Daisy, you better step it up again. Emma Chamberlain yeah. is watching. You're like holding a gun to Daisy. <laughs> you better do you it better right. Pose. You better pull <laughs> right, bitch. Momo, you better get on those high legs. <laughs> okay. Ollie, do you think Remy and Cal moved in together too fast? At first, yes. Were you 100%. worried? Yeah. I was like, girl, this is a mistake. <laughs> but I know you got big brain. <laughs> the, the thing about Remy is like so many. Okay. This is like some side tea. But like so many of her friends think she's like a little naive girl. who doesn't know any better. Oh my God. Remy's so dumb. I have to protect her. Oh my God. My whole the, life I've been protected. Knows. I'm like, don't protect me. I know what she I'm doing. Knows. I know what I'm doing. Like, I know like when she was like, okay, Cal's moving in. Like she had thought of every possible scenario where it could go in the next day, the next nanosecond, the next two years. Like she has thought of every avenue, every aspect of it, even like to like a business point, her social media life, her real life, her family, her friendships, like everything like she knows so I feel like you're never one to make an uninformed decision. I think also, thank you. Yeah. If he were to move in and it yeah. weren't to work out, yeah. then he moves out. Yeah. Like that's that's it. Yeah. I don't like it's not that big of a deal yeah. to me personally. I think we we're all just scared. I which I t- yeah. understand. And I do appreciate being protected to a certain yeah. point, but there are so many people in my yeah. life that are like I mean, no, 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 exactly. No, 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 no. I'm like, and you hate that, I'm and fine. a lot of people don't know that about you. Yes, you hate very that. True. Yeah, he knows. He yeah. knows. There's Remy some, got big brain. There's <laughs> is Ollie like your kid that you pass around to each other to me and Alicia. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, you're a baby. I would say so. We love it. We love it so much. Love it so much. What to do if your best friend is drifting away from you? Block them. Ollie. <laughs> that would be a fun surprise though. I think so too. Actually, I think that's really good advice. We should just end the episode. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Drifting from your best friend. I think it depends on the situation, yeah. obviously. But I think if. We need more context here. Like yeah. if it's like a best friend that was toxic or is it someone that you're being toxic to? Because sometimes you're the problem. Yeah, it's true. And I think that also recognizing that in in every friendship breakup or whatever, you know, regular breakup, whatever Mm -hmm. it is that might happen, you are partially to blame. Exactly. And it's hard to come to that it takes conclusion two to sometimes. Tango. It takes two to Self-realization. tango. Self-realization. So maybe actually look inward if your yeah. best friend is drifting away from you and think yeah. like, okay. What am I doing? What have I done? Yeah. You know, if they're if they're just, you know, dating someone new maybe and maybe they're drifting away. Yeah. Like that's pretty normal, obviously. Yeah, that's so natural. I think maybe, yeah, look inward. Think about, you know, 
have there been changes with you? Mm -hmm. And maybe from there you can decipher what the situation is. I think also sometimes we cling too closely on to one particular friend. Right. And you make that one friend try to be your everything. Every friend. I used to have a friend that I was very close to who I would work with, Mm -hmm. party with. Uh, What else did we do? That's pretty much all we did. Work with, party with. Just everything uh, mm-hmm. encompassing. And I remember whenever we'd fight, it was detrimental to everything to me because right. it was she was my in everything. Every category. Exactly. Yeah. So when we fought, I didn't have anyone to work with. I didn't have anyone to party with. I didn't have yeah. anyone for, you know, those sorts of things. And someone would always be like, oh, you know, you can just have them be just your, your party, party friend. friend. I yeah. love a party friend now. Yeah. And party friends are so fun and easy and you party with them. And then it's like, that's Bye-bye. it. Bye. Exactly. See you next Saturday. <laughs> and it's, but it's a fun friendship like that. Yeah. And if you just, like, if you mutually agree that you just want to party together, then you guys are just party friends. Yeah. But I think kind of figure out, it sounds bad to categorize categorize your friends yeah but I do think you know maybe your best friend is drifting because they need to find other people to fill other categories in their life and you should do the same yeah I feel like friendships have different seasons like Mm -hmm. for example like you with Cal and being in a relationship like I feel like you and like Asian girl squad like hang out on couple dates and stuff and me and Alicia are single so we don't come to those Mm -hmm. (laughs) so it's just like you know what I mean like I, I don't think it's like categorizing it's just different lifestyles yeah yeah and I think also me getting into a long-term relationship and him sticking around for as long as he has yeah our friendship has obviously shifted because no my not really but I I was gonna (laughs) say not really actually we've done a really good job yeah and I feel like um it's easy to get so lost in your quote-unquote you're good at not letting your relationship affect your friendships well thank you but also Cal's so easy and just like tags along when he wants yeah. he doesn't when he doesn't me and Cal didn't get along I would be like Wait, well I wouldn't be dating him if you guys didn't get along because that's so important but I think Music just my ears. look inward figure all that out yeah and then let us know hopefully yeah. we gave you some good advice okay last question because I think this is funny to ask and then also can go into other things I'm nervous Remy were you ever jealous when Alicia calls Ollie her best friend since you knew him longer Jeez. and I think that first of all no never okay. because I also know that I have a different relationship with Alicia right. that you have with Alicia and I have with you we all have yeah. different friendships but we all come together as three best friends which is beautiful a trio. and <laughs> usually tr- groups of three don't work out yeah but I think it's because we're all so secure in each mm. other in ourselves and each other's friendships that that's why it's working and has worked for so long. But I do think also, and this is something that I've always, always done, but I, Alicia always commends me for it. So I feel like I was like, Oh, I guess it's not that normal. You should be open to sharing your friends with everybody Mm -hmm. else. Like I'm so glad that you and Alicia are best friends. Just like Mia. Mia was like that for me and Alicia. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people were always like, Oh, is Mia so upset that you guys are, that you and Alicia are best friends. And then we're like, no, like Mia was so mature and sweet and realized that Alicia and I really needed each other during the time when we became friends because Mm -hmm. we were both going through similar things. You were there for Alicia when she needed you most. And that's what bonded you guys. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that everyone should be like you. If you are a good friend, you want what's best for your friends. Right. And if that's having a strong support system, like I love you to death. You are a great friend. So why wouldn't I want you to be a great friend to Alicia? Exactly. Or you to be a great friend to TK or whoever wit, whoever it may be. Like, why not? Share the love. Yeah, why there's not enough abundance to go around. Exactly. I think it's it's always back to communication. Yeah. Like I feel like if you're getting upset that like you know like your two best friends are hanging out without you or whatever, I think like just having an honest conversation where it's like not awkward, but also like self realization is key. Like if you just like keep like not getting invited to things, or, it, it like take the hint. No, you know? I, that's so so true too. Yeah, it's like oh okay, like maybe I need to like communicate and if they still don't make effort like that's kind of your sign well I I personally completely I personally used to be friends with people Mm -hmm. who would constantly not invite me to things yeah but I would express like this one situation I really 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 wanted to see this movie and for month I would have saw it with you I well I wish I had known you at the time (laughs) for months I'd be like hey I want to go see this movie wait what movie is it I can't say it I can't can't say it and I still to this day refuse to watch you still haven't seen it let's watch it tonight no I'm yes we're 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 opening the trauma I I would say literally for months because they were the promoting they were promoting the fuck out of this movie right I'd be like I want to go oh my god I can't wait to see this movie I can't wait to see this movie I can't wait to see this movie I saw these people yeah one day 
And then I was like, oh my God, this is so fun. Yeah, right. this is a good time. The next day I track them <gasps> or maybe they even post a story because I knew yeah. they were seeing that specific movie without me. Like they went out of their way to go see that movie. Like yeah. to me, that's just mean girl yeah. shit. And the they worst. were posting like to show that they right. were there. And I was like, after that, yeah. I took a hint. I was like, yeah. you know what? That is not a good friend. That yeah. is not energy that I want to spend. Sometimes you got to take with. an L, babe. For real, I mean, that was embarrassing for me. Yeah. That's for sure. You're like, oh, well, well, fuck. <laughs> well, fuck. <laughs> but I knew I had expressed. Because yeah. the thing is, I had said it so many times. Yeah. I was like, there is no way yeah. that they did not hear me at least yeah. one of those times. Yeah, they were like, <laughs> wouldn't it be nice if we went to this movie? Yes. I, mean, like, oh, I can't wait the, pre the preview. Yeah. Oh my God, I You're can't wait. You're sending in the group chat no yes. response yes yeah so i think um that's a that's a good yeah. tip taking a hint and also uh and sometimes taking the yeah. l but it was for the better yeah sometimes you gotta dig through the trash to find a remy <gasps> that was so beautiful <laughs> oh my god with my lash half on thank you so much you gotta go through all the garbage to get to the coal and then break the coal and there's there's a remy inside there's a remy inside <laughs> and i hope truly everyone listening one day Hopefully soon, if not already, has an Ollie in their life. Oh. Because I feel like now people can truly sense and understand yeah. that you are so loyal and so supportive, but also will always keep it real. Yeah. And that's not a lot of people are like that. Yeah. So I appreciate it. is important, baby. That's true. You keep it real with me too. I hope I do. You do. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, thank you guys so much for listening to this episode of Pretty Basic. That was so fun. We had so much fun. So much fun. No offense. This is way better than our first episode. No offense, but I wish you would let me tell the story of that evil fake friend you had. No, no, no. We're going to. We're One day you'll be more comfortable. <laughs> You sound like a witch. <laughs> well. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for listening and watching this episode of Pretty Basic. If you're not watching, what are you doing? We are in studio. You guys can watch on youtube.com slash pretty basic. Again, we have a live show coming up. Orange County Girls, ride for us. Let's go. You can hang out with me. You can hang out with Ollie. Momo and Daisy. Cal will be there. My mom, my dad, my adorable grandma. <laughs> on her iPad. On her, on her iPad. <laughs> she will definitely not be watching the show and be plugged into her Korean dramas, but she will be there. <laughs> and that's all that I need is the physical support. So yeah. thank you guys for listening. Again, check out Ollie's channel. Where thank can we so where can we check you out? YouTube.com slash Ollie Abbas and Instagram, TikTok, all the same thing. O-L-I-A-B-B-A-S. And uh, we will catch you guys in season four. Oh Wait, my god. Is this the last episode? This is the last episode of the Why season. Did baby? I get the honor of the last episode. <laughs> because this is They want a refund. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you next year. Bye. Bye. <laughs>